to you today as someone who carries within him the true aspirations of Xeon. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Xeon Remnant's channel. And in today's video, we'll be doing a mod of a figure. My 6-inch Black Series Flame Trooper figure. And it's a pretty cool figure. I really wish that Bandai had gone ahead and made a model kit of this, but they didn't. So Black Series is all we get of it right now. What I'm going to be doing is making a flame effect on the gun. Focus. There we go. And the thing I don't like about the Hasbro weapons is the plastic it's made out of is very flimsy. I actually had to heat this up, ironically, heating up a flamethrower to straighten it out. And it's kind of straight, but still not really. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to be first drilling a hole right into the middle. I've already kind of started that. Inserting a paper clip. If I can grab it, paper clip. You can also use a brass rod. Um, they're about the same size. I might end up just using a brass rod. Ah, it depends. We'll see. And then we're going to be making flame with super glue and paint. Try not to burn yourself. Hint, hint, wink, wink. First thing we do is go ahead and we're going to be drilling a hole into the gun to insert the flame effect. Alright, and as you can see, we have inserted the paper clip into the gun, and it wasn't perfect, I ended up kind of going out of the gun. This plastic is so flimsy, it just kind of like burned through it and then went up. Um, but probably going to do it anyway for some extra support, because like I said, this thing pretty flimsy, and it actually kind of irritates me. I end up going in through here. Um, to give this some stability since it's so loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're gonna start adding hot glue to the end of this to make the flames. Okay, so after building and building on the uh, flame here, I think we have a pretty decent flame effect. And for the f me first time doing this, I think it came out pretty cool. And basically, uh, one of the things that I did too was, because um, you need to have this stuff get dry, and you don't want to leave it a certain way because it'll start losing its shape. So what I did was I turned on this fan here, and as I'm doing this, I'm um, when I get it to where I want it, I'm putting it on the fan, letting it cool. And then continuing on, because what I was noticing and having issues with was if it was taking too long to dry, it would start to lose its shape, and then it would look less like a flame effect and just like a big pile of super glue. And so I didn't want that. And um, right now I think this looks pretty cool. It looks cool as is. It is going to look even more amazing once we get this thing painted. All right, guys, and just to give you an idea of what the flame trooper looks like with his new flame effect. I think it came out pretty good. It's time to paint this flame effect up. I will finish what you started. Alright guys, so we are now done with our custom flame effect for our first order flame trooper. Gonna go ahead and take a good look at this effect here. I think this came out pretty good. 
Um, it is my first time doing an effect like this, and overall, I like the way it looks. There's a lot of color variation in there. We have your blue, your yellow, your red, and then blue at the end again, which made it purple because of the uh, clear red and blue paints that were used. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. And um, so some of the painting video that I took didn't come out right. Um, I didn't realize I was painting off camera, so I do apologize for that. Um, if you guys are wondering what I used, I used Tamiya paints. We have a Tamiya clear blue. We have a clear red. And we have a clear yellow. Now, uh, the one thing I noticed, um, and it, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but... Um, I didn't really think of this and I feel kind of dumb. Uh, plan this out when you're doing these clear colors. Um, obviously if you put blue over red it's going to make purple and blue over yellow is going to make green. So you want to try and make sure you know where you're going to stop, where you're going to end, and where you're going to paint more. Um, that's kind of why the uh, end of it looks kind of purplish because I wanted to add some blue at the end and um, the blue over the red made purple. But all in all, I think it came out pretty well. The other thing that I did do was I watered down some yellow acrylic paint. And I did like a yellow wash. So you can see there's some yellow bits in here to give it some variation. And I think this came out really well. Um, I might weather up this trooper a little bit. I am not sure. But overall, I am... Oh, there goes my glue gun. I am pretty pleased with the result. Um, another thing that I did um, was as a... Uh, as you guys saw earlier, I didn't do a good job of drilling, so I ended up going in and um, painting um, the the um, paper clip to hide it a bit. And I need to do some touch up. Like right here, you see I painted black and white, so it blends it in a little bit, and it looks all right. Um, this gun is really flimsy; it is not a sturdy plastic, and it definitely will go ahead and. Um, break apart if you try to drill through it. So when you go ahead and start trying to do this, my advice would be to take your time, uh, use a pin vise, here we go, use a pin vise instead of trying to use a Dremel, unless you have steadier hands than I do, because apparently I don't have steady hands. This way uh, you won't go through the other side of the gun like I did and have to do a bunch of cleanup work. But all in all, I'm happy with how this turned out, and um, we might weather him a little bit, and we'll show that here in a second. Okay, so at the end of this review, I just did a little bit of, uh, really it was panel lining is more what I did, as opposed to weathering. Um, I might weather him more in, uh, eventually, but really all I did was just add a bit of black to the end of his gun, a little like fire, and just did some black wash in the gun, a little bit in the face, and these little panels here. This, I have no idea what it is. Um, I've tried to clean it, I've tried to scrub it, I don't know what it is. Uh, it looks kind of like some wear, I have no idea. But whatever. Um, add a little bit of black in the thigh. And that was it, really. Um, so I'm going to call this project done for now. Again, uh, if you guys don't know, I will be making a very large diorama with First Order guys versus Resistance and a Throne Room and TIE Fighter Hangar and all that shit. It's going to be awesome. And this is one of the uh, features that I wanted to have in it a flame trooper with a flame effect. And I think this came out really well. And I'm really proud of it. And now, uh, maybe in the future, I'll do some more flame effects with other stuff. So guys, go ahead, test out. Hot glue can be used for so many cool effects. It's so um, it's so easy to use. Painting it is really the main thing. you got to get the paint right to make it look like whatever it is you want it to look like. And for me, I think this looks pretty good. I'm going to try other techniques next time. Other um, types of flames. I'll probably do some jetpack flames at some point. And speaking of which, my next uh, project for this uh, diorama is going to be to do a first order jump trooper with a rocket launcher and he'll have a missile being fired from his rocket and he'll be in the air with a jetpack. So look forward to that. And until then, next time guys, let me know what you think of this in, in the comments below. If you've done something similar to this, post it down in the comments below so other people can take a look at it. Thank you all for watching. Like this for more. Subscribe for more content. And as always... Zigzion!